On Monday, April 8th, things are going to get pretty dark. Because a total solar eclipse will be visible in parts of the United States. This astronomical event doesn't happen often. So here are some things you should know before you try to spot it in the sky. Earth orbits or revolves around the sun, and at the same time, the moon orbits the Earth. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon's orbit passes between the Earth and the sun. When it moves directly in front of the sun, the moon blocks out the sun's light, leaving a narrow band of the Earth's surface in the shadow of the moon. People in Texas, Ohio, and Maine should have some of the best views of this eclipse, because these states lie on the path of totality, the area fully covered by the moon's shadow. Though, if you don't live within the path of totality, but do live in North America, you should still be able to witness at least a partial eclipse, where the moon blocks out at least some of the sun. Solar eclipses are not just amazing events to witness. They also provide heliologists, scientists who study the sun, the opportunity to make scientific discoveries. For this eclipse, one research team is working with volunteer photographers to learn more about the sun's outer atmosphere. Called the corona, this area is home to plumes of plasma and solar jets, which the team wants to learn more about. The corona is clearest during a total solar eclipse because the moon blocks out the bright light from the center of the sun. This bright light usually makes it difficult to capture detailed photos of the corona. The photographers will be based throughout the country, providing the research team with different views of the ever-changing corona. Then, the team will stitch these photos together and create what they are calling an eclipse mega-movie. They hope to use this to measure the movement of the plumes and jets, helping heliologists to better understand the corona. There is one thing, however, that could ruin your view of the eclipse. Clouds. Thankfully, a team of scientists have been working hard to predict the amount of clouds that may be in the sky, in a certain place, on the day of the eclipse. By analyzing historical weather data, the team created this map. It shows the path of totality and the locations of different weather stations. Lighter circles, like these ones in Texas, indicate less predicted cloud cover, meaning a higher chance of seeing the eclipse. But where the circles are darker, like these ones in Ohio, there's historically been a higher amount of cloud, so it might be more difficult to see the eclipse. However, the scientists are keen to point out that these are just predictions and that anything can happen when it comes to the weather. So on April 8th, protect your eyes by grabbing a pair of solar eclipse viewing glasses and look up to the sky. You might be amazed at what you see. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly update.